Hi, my name is CJ and I'm going to show you how to lay out and install your express railing system. Let's get started. In this install, we provide basically all the materials needed for the installation. The only things you'll need to bring are a drill or impact driver, a 3 16 inch drill bit, a pen or pencil, a tape measure, and a speed square. Step 1. Checking your drawing. At this point, you probably have a sketch of where your posts are going to be placed. Refer to that drawing and place your posts at their locations, ensuring that each of the posts are no more than 48 inches away from each other on center. This will help you visualize the project and make sure there are no unforeseen obstacles. If you are using level or angle posts in close proximity, make sure to mount them at least one and a half inches away from each other, measuring from the outside of one post foot to the outside of the next post foot. If you are using corner posts, ensure that you have at least one tension run traveling in all directions. An easy way to check this is to make sure the larger half inch holes on the back side of the corner posts are not facing each other. Step 2. Using a speed square. To make sure your posts are level with the edges of your deck or balcony, use a speed square. Make sure as you are placing the post that it is at least one and a half inches away from the edge of your blocking. When placing your angle posts, you will want to place them as close to one and a half inches away from your blocking as possible to make sure the bottom run of cable will clear the tread nosings. Step 3. Checking System Leveling Run the provided string along the edges of your post to check for a consistent line. If the line is not consistent, you will have issues mounting your handrail. You should also run that string through the bottom holes on each of your angled runs to make sure that the cable will clear the tread nosing. It may help to tape the string to a drill bit as shown. Step 4. Pre-drilling mounting holes. Now that you've confirmed the placement of your posts, mark the location of all your mounting holes with a pen or pencil. If possible, you always want to use the four corner holes. If that presents any issues, make sure to populate one hole on each of the four sides of the posts. Removing each of the posts, use a 3 16 inch drill bit to pre-drill all mounting holes. Step 5. Mounting and Leveling Posts Replace the posts and populate all of your pre-drilled holes with the provided mounting screws. Place the post level onto a post and make sure that the post is level. If it is not level, use the provided composite shims to level out the posts. Once it is level, slide your foot cover over the top of your post, making sure to let it down carefully so it does not scratch the powder coat. Repeat this step for each of your posts. Step 6. Attaching the handrail bracket. Position the handrail bracket on top of your posts and attach it with the provided screws. If your system utilizes corner posts, Make sure the bracket is oriented so that it turns the corner the correct way. The express angle posts come with a universal handrail bracket that will allow it to pivot on the angle of your stairway. Now you've installed all your posts. To learn how to install the rest of your express cable railing system, check out our YouTube channel at youtube.com viewrail or go to our website at viewrail.com.